400 miles of sparkling shoreline is why Rhode Island is called the Ocean State. Little inlets and large bays lapping the coast have attracted visitors and settlers for hundreds of years. Travel to the town of Tiverton on a tank and take in the colonial charm. The historic district of Tiverton Four Corners is a tucked away village dating back to the 18th century. These days it's bustling with makers. It's just such an unspoiled area still. There's really not very many places like this anymore. It's not full of little chains and it's just small stores and a little bit more laid back kind of feel to it. Teresa Mowry is one of many artists to set up a studio amid tasteful gift shops, gourmet markets and Gray's ice cream, a local staple. Every Tuesday, a still life group paints at the invitation of Brenda Wrigley Scott. The artist works in the sunny front room of this shared space with Studio by the Sea. Peter Turpak is a full service jeweler who carefully crafts custom designs. He delicately repairs or transforms family heirlooms while inviting customers to browse. That maker shopkeeper model is common here. Teresa Mowry's Patina Studio is a combination gallery and workspace. I start with copper that's a cleaned copper for most of my work and then I use different salts and acids to create patinas and that's where the color and all the design come from. Drizzles of mustard doused in ammonia give one effect. Trade the spice for heat, she gets another finish or patina. When you're referring to it on metal, it's really a film that is created over time. If you think of the Statue of Liberty or the green coloring that's on a roof, that's actually something that's a protective film that develops over many, many years. What I'm doing is just speeding up that process in my studio. I want to kind of put it at a 90 degree angle over that piece. In some cases, stunning hues appear in an instant molecules and it changed to get that color. Others require more patience. I just love that copper has such a warmth to it. it. has so many different colors that you can get out of it. I just think it's fascinating that that's just a reaction of chemistry. Maori says nature, specifically this place, inspires her. Definitely inspired by my surroundings. I love all the stone walls too and the countryside. You can drive around and the beaches are close to here. Acres of fields brought Nora Harris to Tiverton, a champion equestrian she started her business about 10 years ago. We do all kinds of training, riding lessons. We coach the Roger Williams equestrian team. Good girl, beautiful. And we also have high school and middle school teams that compete together as well. Her farm attracts riders from all over. We bring in upper level trainers, Grand Prix riders, international riders to come here and coach not only my students, but me as well. And leg here, very good. Harris's instruction helped the Roger Williams University team reach nationals for the first time ever. Good, good. just keep your hand a little lower. You have to navigate the course of jumps accurately and the bigger the jumps get, the more accurate you need to be. There's not a lot of room for error. It's a little bit of pressure, a little bit of speed, a little excitement, and then just sitting on top of a horse that has its own mind all at the same time. Good. Stand straight up. Under Harris's watchful eye, how could I resist a slow ride around the ring? You want to imagine you have a straight line from the bit to your hand to your elbow. And then when you want to stop him, you just pull back on both reins until he stops. And you can pull. I want to keep going, Nora. You want to keep going? No. Okay. <laughs>